I'm Yuki Washington with your evening digital news brief for Thursday, August 10th. Hundreds of people gathered in Trenton today to pay their final respects to New Jersey Lieutenant Governor Sheila Oliver. Oliver was first the first black lieutenant governor in the Garden State's history. She died at the age of 71 last week. Among the people who came to pay their respects, Governor Phil Murphy and First Lady Tammy Murphy. All today, Oliver's body lied in state inside the State House Rotunda as part of a three day celebration of life. Brooklyn District Attorney Eric Gonzalez has announced he will prosecute O'Shea Sibley's killing as a hate crime. The 28 year old dancer was stabbed to death last Saturday night. He was a Philadelphia native and former student at Philadelphia. Police say a 17 year old saw him dancing with friends at a gas station and called him homophobic and racist slurs. The 17 year old was arrested on hate motivated murder charges. Sibley was laid to rest on Tuesday. If you ride SEPTA buses or trolleys, be prepared for some delays starting Monday. That's because workers are getting some extra safety training. The move comes after several recent crashes. Every SEPTA worker will be pulled from their regular jobs for one full day of mandatory training. That training is expected to take about eight weeks. SEPTA says it will do its best to avoid delays during the training period. Well, Phillies fans are hungry for more after Michael Lorenzen's no-hitter yesterday. But some changes are coming to your plate at Citizens Bank Park. Our Mark just unveiled this new gobbler for fans to enjoy during the games. It features roasted turkey, stuffing, and cranberry mayonnaise topped with gravy on a long, delicious roll. A taste of Thanksgiving in the summer. You can gobble one up starting tomorrow at Bull's Barbecue in the Left Field Plaza. That is the latest for the evening digital brief. I'm Yuki Washington.